go. We are doing transformations of quadratic functions. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. You should take out some paper. You should take out and take some notes. All of that jazz. And let's go. Math with the speed. Math with the speed. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with the Speed. Transformations of quadratic. So when we are talking about vertex form, you should know that vertex form looks like this. F of X equals plus or minus A parentheses X minus H quantity squared plus K. Okay, so once the, I do that, you got to know the different portion uh, portions of the equation. So first, let's talk about the plus or minus. The so plus or minus tells you whether or not it's a reflection across the x-axis. Um, and then the a tells you whether it's a vertical stretch or a vertical shrink. Um, h tells you your horizontal shift. So whether it goes left or right. And then your vertical tells you, I mean, your K tells you your vertical shift. So that's whether it goes up or down. Now, the other thing that you need to know about vertex form is that H and K is actually your vertex. So that's the center point of the parabola. So X, your X coordinate is the H and your Y coordinate is the K. So that's all your basics that you're going to need for vertex form. All right. So now we're going to describe the transformation of this graph. So given this equation, g of x equals x minus 2 squared plus 4, we need to describe what the transformation is going to be from the parent graph. Okay. So we're looking at the equation and what we know is is that there's that minus 2 that's in there so that tells me something and then there's the 4 that's in there so the minus 2 is going to be your um, h value right and your h values do the opposite so because it's, there's a minus in front of it it's actually going to go to the um, right two spaces okay and then the 4 is our k value remember k tells us to go up or down so the k value in this case is positive and it does exactly what you want it to do if it's positive it goes up so four spaces up so first of all we have a horizontal shift right two spaces and then we're going to have a vertical shift up four spaces so then our so what our graph is you should know what your parent graph is your parent graph is going to be negative two comma four negative one comma one zero comma zero and then um, one comma one and two comma four. So if this is your parent graph, this transformation that we just described, okay, is now this blue graph right here and we are gonna move it to the right two spaces and then we're gonna move it up two spaces. Ta-da! And just like that, you did that. I always ask my students to identify the vertex just so that doesn't get lost in translation. So remember H comma K is your vertex. You're gonna wanna say negative two comma four. Do not say negative two comma four. Say positive two comma four. That is gonna be your vertex, okay? All right. Uh, we have g of x equals x plus two quantity squared minus three. So again, we have an h value and we have a k value. Our h value tells us our horizontal shift. H stands for horizontal. Remember that. So when we're looking at our horizontal shift, it is a plus two. But remember, inside the parentheses, it always does the opposite. So instead of going to the right two spaces, we are actually going to go to the left two spaces. So horizontal shift, left two spaces. And then we have our k value. K value is a negative two. Three. So that is going to be our vertical shift and and that negative three remember the K value does exactly what you want it to do So if it's plus it goes up if it is negative it goes down, baby So we're gonna say vertical shift down three spaces Swoop Okay, so now what we gonna do 
is we have our parent graph, which is the red graph, remember? So we're gonna mimic the red graph with the blue graph, but except we are actually going to trans do the transformation. So we're going to slide it left two spaces and we're gonna slide it down three spaces and that is g of x. I'm always gonna ask you, what's the vertex? What's the vertex? Mm-hmm. The vertex is negative two comma negative three. Good. If you said positive two, shame on you. Get them on the next one. Okay, so now we have g of x equals negative one fourth, parentheses x plus one quantity squared. All right, now we have a minus in the front. Remember, what do minuses tell you to do? You gotta think about vertex form, right? You gotta think about vertex form. What is it telling you to do? That's the first thing. Now. The second thing um, is the one fourth. The one fourth is separate from the minus. What does that one fourth tell us to do? What position is it in? Is it the A, is it the H, or is it the K? That's what you gotta think about. And then you have the one, right? What value does the one represent? Is it the A, is it the H, or is it the K? And each of those tell you the same thing, right? So the first thing that we're gonna look at is the negative. If there's a negative in front, that is an X axis reflection. And then we're gonna look at the one fourth. I asked you, what is the one fourth? A, H, or K? Looking at our model for vertex form, it is the A value, right? So that is a vertical stretch or a vertical shrink. And it depends on if that value, if the absolute value of that number is greater than one or less than one, right? So it's actually gonna be a vertical shrink or vertical compression, depending on who you ask, um, by a factor of one fourth. You always wanna say the factor of the shrink or the stretch. And then we're looking at the one. The one, is it an A value, an H value, or a K value? Well, it can't be an A value because the one fourth was our A value, right? We know that the H value is always inside of the parentheses and the K value is always outside of the parentheses. So this is definitely gonna be an H value. It's a plus one. Remember, it does the opposite. So it's gonna be a horizontal shift left one space. And then I actually don't have a K value. Some people will tell you the K value is zero, which is accurate. Um, but there is no shift up or down. We just have an X axis reflection. We have a vertical shrink slash compression by a factor of one fourth. And then we have a horizontal shift left one space. So what does that look like on a graph? <laughs> okay, so that's our parent function. And then our transformation would look something like that. Ooh. It's different, right? Because it's a lot fatter and it's upside down. It's the whole thing. So what's the vertex? What's the vertex? Remember your vertex is H comma K. What number represents H here? Okay, thinking about that. And then what number represents K? I just talked about that a little bit. So your vertex in this case would be, um, it would be negative one comma zero because there's no K value. So anytime there's no K value, you're gonna say zero, big fat zero, big fat zero, big fat zero. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. So now we're gonna go backwards. So I'm gonna give you a description and you're gonna tell me what the equation is based on this description, okay? So the parent function f of x is x squared, so that tells me it's a quadratic, is vertically stretched by a factor of three. Where do vertical stretches belong? A values, h values, or k values. That's the first thing. And it is translated up. Oh, translated, sorry, Ooh, ahead of myself. Translated four units to the right, and then two units up. So what number determines to the right, is it the A, the H, or the K? And then two units up, what number depends determines if it uh, goes up, the A, the H, or the K? And so you're just gonna input those values into each letter, right? So vertically stretched by a factor of three, that is an A value. Um, and then uh, it has translated four units to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. So that's going to be a negative four, a minus four inside the parentheses, because remember inside the parentheses does the opposite. And then you're going to do a plus two at the end, because it's two units up, baby. Two units up, 
two units up plus k. Okay, so what's the vertex of this parabola? Given this equation, what's the vertex of this parabola? Four comma two, positive four, baby. Positive four comma two, 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 two. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, next one. The parent function f of x equals x squared is vertically compressed by a factor of one third and then is translated two units to the right and five units down. Write the function g of x for g of x. Okay, I'm gonna give you some time. See if you can figure it out. It's kind of hot in here. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, I was supposed to give you time. Ten. Okay, so if something is vertically compressed by a factor of one-third, compressions are A values. And then you have translated two units to the right. To the right is H values. And then you have five units down, those are K values. G of X equals one-third, parentheses, X minus two, squared minus five. What's the vertex, baby? Remember your vertex is H and K. Mm, mm. What's the vertex? What's the vertex? What's the what? What's the? Okay, sorry. <laughs> positive two. Don't say negative two. Common negative five. All right. Last one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. The parent function f of x equals x squared is vertically stretched by a factor of four thirds and then it is translated two units to the left and five units down write a function you think you could do it i believe in you let's see if you got it G of x equals four thirds, parentheses, x plus two, quantity squared, minus five. You did that. Okay, what's my vertex? Last thing that you gotta do, what's my vertex? You got this. Negative two comma negative five, you did it. it for this lesson math with miss b i'm gonna tell you to go back through the video see if you can get them right without my help and then if not i'll see you in the next one